So Derek, is it really a case of just forgetting about Tuesday night? Yeah, of course. I think that um, it was a difficult game for us. Um, Ipswich are a, a very good side and uh, they got a break at the start of the game uh, from uh, a corner kick that came off one of our players and uh, landed at the feet of the striker. So uh, it was an uphill task after that. But um, what we did get was we got a lot of the players uh, some minutes after, you know, not playing for, for two weeks. So the message has been really to remember those three wins at home before Tuesday. Yeah, of course. We, we always knew it would be difficult going to Ipswich. We wanted to get a, a positive result. We didn't. Uh, probably the fact was that Ipswich had been beaten on Saturday against Oxford, which didn't help the, the, the situation because they needed to win the game to close the gap between themselves and the, the automatics. And, uh, you know, we were unfortunate to be the side that came up against them. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Those three wins feel like quite a long time ago now, don't they? Yeah, they were. Uh, but, um, you know, they were very good wins for us. Um, we scored a lot of goals. We created chances and um, we put ourselves in a, a much better position. Uh, we see the league table now. It's it's really close. We've got 20 games to go. And, uh, you know, we were in touching distance of, you know, a good number of teams above us. Yeah, had at least one of those games not been postponed and you got at least a point, you wouldn't be in the relegation zone, would you? Yeah, I mean, we were unfortunate. The, the Cambridge game was postponed because of structural damage, the one here because of frost uh, on the pitch. So um, these two games might have enabled us to, you know, have another six points and uh, be, you know, in a really good position. Did the Ipswich game yet again show how this is all about a mini-league, really? This is about making sure you beat the teams around you and to an extent any points against these big teams are a bonus? Yeah, of course. I think that that is the case. Um, competing with them financially is not in the question. Competing you know, with a fan base is not in the question commercially. You know, all these things are stacked against us. So um, what we've got to look at is the teams that are around about us and to gather uh, as much points as we can against them. Was there a sense of disappointment, though, after being so tight in those previous three games that you conceded so quickly and so many in the first half? Yeah, I mean, I think that the goals that we did concede in the first half, the first one, uh, obviously, uh, a ricochet and it drops to the striker. We make a mistake in the middle of the park and give the ball away. The third one we get uh, done inside and it's a cutback for the fourth. So um, we could have defended them all better. Uh, but the pleasing aspect was that we didn't concede in the second half. Uh, we made four changes at half time to give some of the new players uh, an opportunity uh, because we, they haven't had much game time either. So it's a conundrum for you now to look at some of those players who came on at half-time and did pretty well in that second half. Or do you think, look, we had a consistent team that won those three games at home that started against Ipswich broadly and you stick with them mainly? Yeah, I mean, that, that is, you know, issue, but you've got to look at it game on game as well. The team that, uh, you know, the next team you're coming up against, um, we've got to look at uh, the performance levels of, of some of the players in training as well as in games. But um, what we have had done in this transfer window, we've had it's competition for places and uh, that's what we want. How's it looking in terms of movement in or out now before the end of the window? Yeah, I mean, we've got one that uh, will move out uh, today uh, in Shane McLaughlin. He's going to move to a League Two club uh, in a permanent deal. Uh, we've still got the scope now to take in two players uh, because we had uh, allowed and to your corner to go to a League Two club as well. So um, we've got to... We can use that money uh, to take in, you know, two other players. So where would the priority be? Because it seemed to me like you're you're a bit short defensively in the middle of the park, but also maybe a ex more experienced person up front. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very difficult to do that um, just with the, the current market. Um, you only have to look at, you know, some of the teams around about us that the money they're spending and transfer fees. Uh, so we are scouring the market. We have got uh, targets, but. Uh, Unfortunately, there's bigger peers than us uh, out there. And Bristol Rovers at the weekend, another big name in the league oh. and a team that really probably shouldn't be in League One, Championship League One maybe? Yeah, I mean, they're a very good outfit. You know, always enjoyed going to Bristol Rovers. Their fan base is, is excellent and uh, it's a, an intimidating place to go to. We did well earlier in the season getting a point there. We were in the head in the game, but... Um, as we all know, that uh, their home supporters suck the ball in for the their their team uh, to get that uh, equaliser. But um, you know they're a, a very good outfit. Joey Barton has done an excellent job there.
And that's what you want here at the weekend, isn't it? Those three home wins. It's a terrific, terrific atmosphere here. You want that repeated to, to suck the ball in again. Yeah, I mean, the, the home supporters have got uh, a massive part to, to play for, for any football club. And uh, in our football club, you know, giving the players that backing and, uh, you know, really getting on top of the opposition, getting on top of uh, the referee and, you know, giving us, you know, the, all the advantages that we can get. In terms of team spirit, an important aspect for Bristol Rovers is Nick Anderton, the player who has cancer. All the players shave their heads. That can be another sort of obstacle, can can it for you coming up against a team that's really got you know something else to play for as well as points? Yeah, I mean it, it's really you know sad about Nick, and uh, you know the players are, are playing their part to support him, and uh, we understand that, and uh, you know on Saturday, um, you know they, they all look uh, very similar uh, with a, with their haircuts. So um, from my point of view, uh, it, it's a great cause that uh, they're fighting for. And in terms of your injury situation, absences, any changes for the weekend? Do you think we've just got one that uh, started the other night that is doubtful for the game? Um, we've still got Taylor, Melbourne, and uh, Courtney Dufus out. <laughs>